Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sophie. So we're picking up our puppy today and I'm so, so excited. My partner and I have been talking about getting a dog for the longest time. And so I thought I'd film a quick little chatty intro, share with you what's in my dog's tote since I did get a tote for the dog. And I'll be taking that with us later. And I'll also share with you the current playpen setup. We are gonna make some changes, but I'll share with you how it's currently looking. And now to those of you who may comment something like adopt, don't shop, I just want to say that it's easier said than done. I consistently looked for about three years and unfortunately the dog I was looking for was just never available. And also based on our lifestyle and wanting to travel with this dog, it did also just make sense to get a puppy for our first dog. So it is what it is. I'm not going to sit behind my laptop for 10 years waiting for the dog that I personally really want. And so we're getting a puppy. So I picked up a tote from Bay. I have quite a few of their products and I'm gonna link it down below for you guys. Like I was saying earlier in this video, we want to travel with this dog when discussing getting a dog and a huge reason why we put it off for so long was just the fact that we think it would just be selfish, not make sense to get a dog if it wasn't going to be coming everywhere with us. We didn't wanna get a dog and feel like we'd be tied to our house in the suburbs by getting one so as soon as the puppy can travel with us he will be it's obviously more expensive it's more work but we're going to just do our best so i'm not really sure how this bag's gonna hold up this is my first time having a pet as an adult obviously i don't know everything i am still learning i'm gonna learn as we go and again just try my best i'll share with you guys how the front and sides of the bag look up close and then i'll share with you what's in the bag and then after before i show the playpen I'll take you guys through what the actual bag looks like so you can see all the pockets and obviously over time you'll see how the bag holds up and I'll give you guys an honest review as to whether or not the bag works for us. So here's one side of the bag and the other side back here has this big pocket and the front has this part that folds down and is adjustable if it needs to be a bit higher it can be. So the bag does come with a crossbody strap and I'm currently looking at a couple of different airline approved pet travel bags obviously the dog can't travel for a little while but i want to like kind of start looking and at least order one and see how we feel about it and kind of test it out so the dog fits in it and just see like if it's going to work for us because obviously we want our dog to be comfortable when we're traveling and i think it would just be smart to get the bag in advance than just kind of like last minute when we're traveling. So I have a couple that I'm looking at. I think I'm gonna start with a base bag. Definitely in black. This one is really pretty, but I'm not too sure how it's going to age. And the fluffy part, like you saw, it does come off so it can be easily cleaned or just taken off entirely. In the bag, I have just a couple of things to start. The first thing is a little water bottle. I personally don't leave the house without water, so I think it just makes sense to have a bottle for our dog. And then obviously poop bags so the dog can't be walking us on the ground at the very beginning, but it just made sense to have this and be prepared. I got the Earth Rated brand. This is from Amazon. It's gonna be linked down below for you. And then got a little refill. And then I have a leash that I'll keep with the bag. The breeder's giving us our puppy with a collar and a leash and a harness, but I just want an extra one just in case. I'm just trying to be as prepared as possible. I have a couple of these little towels that I'm putting in the bag at the bottom where the puppy is going to be sitting slash standing. It's just super soft and cozy. I have this Touchland hand sanitizer that's gonna stay in the zipper compartment and also these treats. And then I also have some dog wipes which are gonna stay in the car. And again, this is my first time with a dog. I don't totally know like yet what works for us and the dog. So we're just going to try our best and learn as we go. Now let me share with you guys how the bag looks. You can see all the different zippers and pouches and compartments and then I'll share with you guys the current playpen setup. I'm really not sure how this bag is going to age. I'm sure some of you guys are thinking it's a crazy purchase because it's gonna get ruined. We'll see what happens honestly. This part here, this fluffy part, is magnetic and it has little snaps inside and you can fully remove this. So that's gonna be really great for cleaning. I'm not gonna take it off in this video just because there's no need, but that comes out as you can see. And in the back here, we have a zipper pocket. There's also another pocket here. And then on this side, we have two pouches. We have a crossbody strap, this little detail here, and then also another clip here. 
inside the bag. It has a zipper to close it. And there's another one of these. And then this here is adjustable if it needs to be a bit higher it can be and then we have this pocket on the back side as well which is perfect for a little bottle of water and that is the tote we will see how it ages i'll keep you guys updated so this is the current play pen we did get more of these panels and we're going to be making it a little bit bigger i got these from amazon and we will see how this holds up inside we have the mat, bunch of toys, and then we have this teddy with the heartbeat. We're gonna be keeping this in the puppy's crate with him at night. Lots and lots of toys. The breeder pretty much gave us everything in here, um, excluding the pen itself, and only a couple of toys I purchased. And then she also gave us these bowls, which are really, really nice, and they fit in here quite nicely it'll be a bit difficult for the puppy to knock them out also the puppy is litter trained so once this is a bit bigger we'll put the litter in here some more toys that i purchased and stuff from the breeder as well and then she also gave us this whole bag of goodies for the dog i also got some grooming items from amazon but yeah our breeder has been really generous really helpful in this entire process So sleepy. <laughs> so we do need to get Dewey a bigger litter. He is litter trained and we made his playpen a little bit bigger and it's a comfortable size. Oh my gosh, I literally can't deal with how cute you are. Hi. So obviously I made the dog a social media account at Dewey the Dachshund and my camera roll is already so full so it's going to be a really great way to just dump out a lot of those photos especially for friends and family to see him. Dewey is male, long hair, Merle miniature Dachshund. It's just so perfect and he's like so orange. Look at those ears. He has the most gorgeous green eyes. 